everybody and welcome to our first video lesson. Uh, today I'm just going to show you the very basics. There's a lot to learn and I don't want to overwhelm you. So we're just going to learn some of the basic positioning techniques. Um, what you'll need is your bowl or container with water, your pin frog, your scissors or shears, and a little bowl to cut the stems under water. That helps them immediately start growing water and will make the flowers last a little longer. So uh, we're going to start out with the basic structure of the three main stems. That's the fundamental structure of all Ikebana. So we'll start out with our long stem and it can be any material. So um, I've picked some bamboo from the garden here. And with the uh, length of the stem, what you basically want to do is start measuring from the top and measure the width of your container and then about half that width more. So it's not an exact science, but something along those lines for your stem length. Then you'll place the material so it's facing pretty much upright, but not just straight up. So upright, but at a little bit of an angle. And then also facing forward. Once you put it in the pin frog, you can still manipulate it a little bit. So you want it facing toward the viewer a little bit. And with the second stem, it should be about two thirds the length of the first stem. So I'll be a good person and cut this underwater. And the second stem goes also at an angle. And again, facing up, but not straight upright, and forward toward the viewer. And place your stems pretty close to each other in the pin frog, so it's like they're growing out of one root. And then the third stem is about two thirds the length of the second stem. Same positioning, put it in the pin frog and then you can wiggle it a little to get it where you want. Theoretically, come here you. Okay, so we have first long stem, second medium, and third short stem is your basis. And then we're going to put in a flower that's the focal point. And for that, you would choose your largest and prettiest flower. And so um, this can go fairly low down because you don't want it fighting for the eye with the stems. So cut it underwater here. And place it, it doesn't have to be right in the center. We're going for a different kind of symmetry than you're used to. It doesn't have to be all balanced out and equal. So just pick a spot that looks good to you. Sometimes you have to put a little snip in the stem or hard stem materials to make them fit in. So again, facing up, facing toward the viewer. And there's that. Then the, uh, um, so one, two, three, get over there. And then four is the main stem. Step five can, should be a different length from the focal point, either longer or shorter. I had to take the luck of what I could get at the flower shop. So this is gonna be shorter. You don't want them the same length or your eye doesn't know where to go. Okay. And again, once you've gotten it in the pin frog, you can tweak the position a little bit. So now we've got your basics of one, two, three, four, five. Later on we'll use uh, seven stems, but again, I just wanna give you the very basics because there's so much. And now we're gonna put in some filler so it doesn't look so stark. Uh, Wafu likes things a little fluffier than other Ikebana schools. So again, just think that you're walking in nature and you see something growing. So try and go for that feeling and that look. Oop, that's 
and brook. So again, we're just filling in the spaces so it doesn't look uh, sparse. Also, we're trying to make it so you don't see the pin frog when the thing is finished. Put one right in front here so to help hide the pin frog. And I didn't uh, show it here, but it's good to put a little pinch of salt in your water. That will help stop bacteria from growing and help keep the flowers alive longer. And with the filler, you want to have different lengths. Don't have it all in a big ball the same length. The eye likes to go to different lengths. So you have a little in and out. And also with your filler material, you will want to have a little bit in the back. So it'll give the arrangement some depth when you're looking at it from the front. So a little material to give depth. And then maybe a little slightly longer stem to give it some interest. And a little more to hide the pin frog. So that is the basics of the structure and how you have the flowers and plants facing up like they're growing to the light. Cover the pin frog. You can position it in different places in your bowl. Just test that out and see what looks good. We need one more in front. Sometimes it's hard to see when you're working from the back, which you won't do. So there you have it. Long, medium, short, near you. Main focal point, second flower, and then the filler to give it some depth. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing your arrangements.